well from Pro Stock Car, where they have very strict parameters within which they're allowed to tune their engines and uh, also modify the suspension to the out-and-out -out hot rods. And here to tell us about it is Roger Johansson. Uh, th this is a Nitro Promod car, and uh, we raced in a class with uh, two different kind of engines. One uh, type is with a blown engine, and this one here is natural aspirated, and then you can add some nitrous. Uh, we have a four-speed transmission and we have a free disc clutch that we, the team have to adjust, so I only have to keep the pedal to the metal. Well, I have to tell you that that man is uh, running an engine somewhere around about 12,000 cc's, almost like aeroplane engines. And here he is. This is Roger Johansson coming up against Tershi Hawkinson in round number one. And these really are the hot rods. You've got a pair of modern looking cars here, but uh, Roger Johansson took the win. And look at the times and speeds you can get out of these door slammers. 6.23 and 6.28. Terminal speeds in the 220 mile an hour bracket. Right, next pair that we're going to look at features these two. Previous champion, Urban Johansson, with his split window Corvette. Coming up against the Crown Victoria, the man who builds the cars as well as races them, that's Sweden's Mats Ericsson. And it's Urban Johansson back on the comeback trail again. Takes the win, 6.13. Cracking run. We've had a whole host of cars down in the 6.1s this weekend. But these are the hot rods, and this is what I mean here. You've got a modern-day Corvette. This is uh, Holland's Robert Houston going up against the 38 Coupe of Switzerland's Rolf Amarn, but then things suddenly go terribly wrong for Robert Houston. He's got one of the quickest cars. In fact, he was our number six qualifier, and uh, it just went sideways, and then uncontrollable just misses Rolf Amarn and destroys itself on the retaining wall here at Santa Pod, and he's doing quite a speed on his roof. Oh, the crowd really stunned into silence on that one. But happily, once the crew get on board with him, he'll just come out of the car. There he is. Perfectly okay. Thank goodness for that. The, the crowd showed their appreciation for a sterling run. But uh, unfortunately, that's the end of Robert Houston's weekend. Right, for you Hot Rod fans, there's more classic American cars here. 57 Chevrolet Bel Air and then cast your eyes over this the Plymouth Super B of Great Britain's Graham Ellis come out against Sweden's Mickey Gullquist in that 57 Chevy now then Gullquist this weekend was the number four qualifier Graham Ellis was the number 13 so it was never going to be an easy race for Graham Ellis but Mickey Gullquist takes the win a 7.17 to a losing 8.4 my goodness me, we've seen some absolutely phenomenal times here this weekend. Right, well, that was our first round. We now move into the quarterfinals, and this is how it looks with this great mixture of cars. First pair we're going to have a look at. This is Bruno Bader, and he's coming up against that blown nugget, the car of Switzerland's Rolf Amman. Bruno Bader in another one of these split-window Corvettes. And Bruno making no mistake at all, 6.19. I'm astounded by these runs, 226 miles an hour, and he takes out Rolf Amman. Next pair that we look at, these are methanol blown engines in here. And what the man is doing there is spraying the bug catcher with de-icer because methanol is a cold burning fuel and can ice the bug catchers up. But this is Great Britain's Andy Robinson, Gus to his mates. He was our number one qualifier, and he puts away previous champion Roger Johansson with a 6.10. What a sterling run from him. And that is a new European record. Well, with big smiles there, things don't always go according to plan for everybody. Let's hear from Patrick Wickstrom. We broke the other rear end yesterday. After the finish line, there's a crack in it, but uh, I'm lucky, man. I, I saved the car anyway. So, what do you feel at a moment that this kind of thing happening? Do you feel it, or is it just boom? 
No, I, I can't see it. We uh, take up the car and we jack up the car and see the, the tire was loose. And we check it out and we see there was a big crack in the rear end. So. OK, well, now then, they've been working on that car, getting it ready for its uh, round two elimination race. But uh, poor Patrick Wickstrom finds himself up against a very much on form Urban Johansson. In qualifying, Patrick was our number two qualifier and uh, Urban number 10. But uh, here, Urban makes absolutely no mistake at all. And he puts Patrick Wickstrom away with a 6.16 to a losing 6.95. Obviously, still problems with the transmission on Patrick Wickstrom's car. Right. The fourth pairing then to come out in the quarterfinals puts the two Mickeys against one another. And again, it's hot rod against hot rod. We've got the 57 Chevy Bel Air. We've got the classic Camaro of the Lindau twins with Mickey in the hot seat. Now, Mickey was our number five qualifier. Mickey Lindau, that was. Mickey Goldquist was our number four qualifier. But Mickey Goldquist couldn't hold the 57 Chevy on the line. He goes before the green comes on. And Mickey Lindau just cruises through. He knows he's won. And here he is in the semi finals, running against Andy Robinson, Urban Johansson against Bruno Bader. But let's get a few words from Great Britain's Andy Robinson. Andy, we're inside a pro modified car can you explain us a little bit what are the basic things that you are using when you're doing a drag race okay um, we run a in a blown car we run a three-speed transmission uh, we have a clutch like a regular car we clutch it off the line we shift sequentially and clutchless just like the touring cars like the German touring cars etc so basically when I leave the, this is my first gear I let the clutch up second gear third gear um, so that's my transmission. I have a handbrake uh, and a fuel shut off and then we have the normal controls which are on off start in the roof. Uh, fire system in the roof for safety. Um, I have radio contact with my crew and then obviously it's driven like a regular car. It's just they're fast. I can tell you there is nothing regular about these cars at all. Uh, the Studi Baker Commander of Great Britain's Andy Robinson going with the burnout there and he's quite rightly said they have to shift gear twice on the run it's a hell of a driving job all being undertaken in a door slammer running six seconds at 200 miles per hour ordinary cars I think not Mickey Lindau of course uh, was our number five qualifier uh, Andy Robinson our number one qualifier and now European record holder um, only hundredths of a second between them. A lot of people running in the six ones here this weekend. This should be a very, very close race indeed. Andy Robinson really seems to have got reliability back into his car this weekend. And Andy gets away first. Look how close this is. Wow, that was close. A 6.11 to a losing 6.20. Cracking drag race. That was fantastic. Next pair then. The two split window Corvettes, Sweden against Switzerland. And uh, this is Bruno Bader just peering in through the window to have a look at him in there. And this is going to be interesting between these two. Bruno Bader uh, was our number three qualifier, Urban Johansson now number 10. But who is it who gets away first? It is Urban Johansson who takes it another close drag race. It was one on the start line. And uh, Urban Johansson gets it with a slower time, 6.20, to a losing 6.18. That start line reaction is so important. Our final then puts Andy Robinson from Great Britain against previous champion Urban Johansson. I'm so pleased for both of these guys. Andy, because he's got reliability in the Studi Baker and Urban because of course he was no one could beat him a couple of years ago he was such a star so reliable nothing could touch him then he had a couple of seasons in the weeds but now he really should be headed the comeback kid he really is doing very very well and indeed uh, one of his runs uh, this particular day has been in the six ones Andy Robinson with the Studi Baker is running in the six ones all the time so Urban Johansson knows 
he's got a big race on his hands here. He's been here before in many finals, but can he put away Great Britain? Andy Robinson, and away, it's Andy who gets away first. This is looking very, very good. Urban had to put a new motor in last night. It's not good enough. Andy takes the win with another 6.10. That is such good news for all the Brits here at Sanderpod. Andy, you did it. Yeah, yeah, very, very pleased. Uh, number one qualifier, uh, low ET, uh, new record, and won the event. Perfect. Great. This for a home event. Yeah, it's even better. It's very special. Last year we were struggling. Uh, I have a super crew and without their help we wouldn't have made this and this is for them as well. Uh, it's the best, best event for us. It's excellent.